Hi friends, welcome to Paula MJ's Place. My name is Paula and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, before I get started, I would like to thank you all for tuning in. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I appreciate you all. I'm trying to grow my channel, um, trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Once I get there, I'm going to be doing a gift card giveaway. Um, it might be Dollar Tree, it might be just a Visa card, I'm not sure yet, but I'm not even close to that. Anyway, if I'm talking a little slow, it's because I had some oral surgery on my gum yesterday, so uh, if I turn and you see kind of dark, my tooth is dark anyway, they're trying to fix that one, but there's dark stitches there, so uh, I I'm trying to <laughs> do the best I can. Anyhow, let's get to this Dollar Tree. I did find a lot of things at the craft uh, at the Crafter Square, which I did not purchase. I will be doing a walkthrough video, and there's so many nice things. They had beads, all kinds of like foamy beads. I just don't need them, but you'll see them on video. So I want to start off with this. Um, I think the paper for this came off. Here it is. Cooking Concepts Sink Mat. So I purchased two last week, a white one and a black and gray one. Um, these are so nice. I highly recommend them. So I'm using the black and gray one, but um, I got another white one because this is better for my sink. What's happening with the black and gray one is you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can see the water spots starting on the darker portion. This one I figured you won't see them as well. So I wanted to have a couple of spares. Anyway, this came off, so I'm just going to, so that's a, a repeat purchase. Also, um, looking for other repeat purchases. Oh, here we go. Okay, toothpaste. I Not all of the Dollar Trees had this, and I we enjoy using this uh, Colgate. Baking soda and peroxide. We like the paste and not the gel. So this is four ounces. So I got two because we're run running low on it. There's the that. Um, I did purchase... Unfortunately, I used my last sympathy card this week, so I had to get another one. I like to have one on hand, um, just in case you never know. The lighting is not that great. I apologize for that, but I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> so this one says, with sympathy for your loss. And it's a Hallmark Expressions, and it just says, may your heart find peace in the strength of your faith and the closeness of friends and the love of family. So I got that to put in my um, card stash. I always like to have those kind of things on hand. Um, I'm just looking for repeat purchases. Here's one. I love this stuff. Even though it does not smell that great, this lighting is... I don't know what's wrong with my phone. I'm, I'm going to tell you in advance. The walk through the video kept flickering, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I like these. I enjoy this little um, container. So I figured, um, I'm already out of a couple of them, but I got another one. I can even get the more expensive little um, beads to put in here. I just think this container is so cute. And this, is, I believe, is the lemon, tropical citrus. So yeah, I've already gone my, through my other two that I had. They dried up already. <clears throat> so, and then this is also a repeat purchase here. My uh, Natastic, love this stuff. I um, have come to like this stuff a lot more than the a cinnamon toast crunch and the other the chocolatey more chocolatey ones it's great stuff it does not uh, best buy is 113 2025 so yummy um and then i saw this on a couple of people's channels maple cream cookies bite size bud's best cookies so it's not a green briar product um, somebody tried, I think it was Laura from LCR and more, she tried them on her channel and she said they were good. So I wanted to get them. I had seen them before. I can't really chew them. <laughs> I just want the flavor. So let's try it. Um, I should have waited till the end, which is always best, but I'm supposed to be on a, like, a soft diet for a couple of weeks. Anyway, I just want the flavor. Oh, they smell pretty good. And um, I might just get the creamy filling. I'm going to put them back in the box. But let me just say that uh, it's June 24th, I believe. I'm looking at the date here. It's kind of cut off. Uh, June or July 2024 or something. I can't. It's cut off. 
Oh, you smell really good. The frosting is good. I can't chew this, but it smells good. I'll put it in my mouth later and kind of let it dissolve when I'm not speaking with you guys. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just like a kid. I digress. I did buy another one of these. I made these cookies last week. And I put them on the cookie sheet, but I guess I put them too close together and too much. I only made like nine. It's supposed to be 12. So they kind of just spread apart and just stay flat like a pancake. And they were really crunchy. Anyway, I put the cream cheese frosting on them. And then I covered them up. On the next day, they were re really nice and soft. So I think, I don't think I measured my butter properly. I think I put more than three tablespoons. So I'm going to try them again. January 15, 2025. So I got that repeat purchase. And then I found this Copper Care for the Elbow. It's the only one I found. Um, elbow brace. I'm still looking for the waist trainer. Haven't found that yet. And I'm looking for all of those. Everybody's finding all of those fall door hangers and new. I didn't see anything like that at any of my stores. Last week was a good week. This week, not so much. <laughs> I did get my new partial from the dentist yesterday. While I was having surgery, they stuck that my new partial in and like these people crazy? <laughs> Am I supposed to? What was the feel? I'm like, I'm all numb. I don't know. So they left it in my mouth. They didn't give me a case for it. Nothing. And it doesn't feel right. So I'm going to have to go back. Unfortunately, they told me they're going to be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's a chain dental place. And y'all know how that goes. But that's all my insurance will pay for. So I'm even happy to have it. Anyway, my dental woes will continue for about at least three more months. I'm over here opening this up and I didn't even show you. My point of telling you that story was I needed something to put my little partial in because they didn't give me not even a little container. Oh, just brush it and then put it somewhere where you won't throw it out. I'm like, uh, yeah. So I got these Sure Fresh reusable mini containers with lids. There's 10 in a pack. And I figured maybe my partial will fit in here just so that I can have some place to store it. I'm going to go back and think like next week and I'm going to say, why didn't you give me a, you know, I, really? It's just it's so unorganized. Okay, so these are little, I don't know if my partial can fit in here, but I think it might. Not like on the bottom, maybe. I, it's probably not. But these are cute. These little containers with the lids. I'll measure them for you. Probably says it on on the thingy here. Uh, yeah. No, it just says 2.29 cups, 2.3 ounces. Freezer safe, BPA free. So I'll measure them. Uh, so on the top, they're going to be a little wider, about two and uh, two and a quarter. And then on the bottom, they're only going to be about two. And then top to bottom, they're about an inch and a half. So they're small. You know, you could use these, I'm sure, for dips or whatever you want to. I would say probably more for dips or, or sauces or things. But, I mean, 10 in a pack for $1.25, I thought that's pretty good. If you need, like, a little dip or something, a sauce to take um, to work with for lunch, that would be pretty awesome. Okay, and then... Showed these in my walkthrough. I just didn't have a chance to do a haul. I'm over here just looking at this stuff. I, I like. I thought I bought something um, today, and I ended up not. It, I didn't even have it. And I thought I bought something else, but I guess I didn't on this. Okay, so you've all seen those driver's choice. Sorry, I'm rambling today. Uh, you've all seen those driver's choice air fresheners. There's a cassette tape, and then. The cassette is blue and yellow, and then they have the guitar, which is yellow, and they have a blue one as well. I got the guitar. I mean, I, this driver's choice, I'm not a fan of. It's the Dollar Tree 
I believe it's the green, yeah, Dollar Tree brand. They don't throw any, there's no scent in these. So, I mean, you know, but I thought it was really cute to hang in my car or wherever. Speaking of um, scents, these are cute. I found these two different scents. There's three in a pack. Uh, fresh new fragrance and design. Scents hanging air freshener pack. These are not a green bar. These are distributed by Nieto Products LLC in Dallas, Texas. And these are, aren't this pretty? Look at those. So they're, um, this particular scent is freesia. I love the smell of freesia. I had freesia flowers and I, they died. I don't think they're from my zone. <laughs> and then this one right here is a white sage winter lily musk. Oh wait, this is, I thought this was a different ant. Okay, freesia rose and herbal. I thought that, I didn't even read the other three um, letters because, or words, because I thought it was a different language. This one says white sage, water lily, and rose. And they have a little scratch and sniff right here. Oh, it smells pretty good. So you get three in a pack. I have so many air fresheners when those Glade ones came out. I purchased quite a few, so I'm good with the air fresheners. Um, like I said, the Crafter Square is just flooded with new things. Um, I did see the uh, resin molds for jewelry. Those would be in the walkthrough. I didn't get them. I saw like finger thingies, I guess, for when you crochet. They'll be in the walkthrough. What else did I see? A lot of different things. Oh, they have um, jewelry. Uh, if you make your own jewelry, they have a bracelet and necklace findings. They have uh, earring findings. I just bought the brace and ne bracelet and necklace ones. They have it in gold as well. I got these because, you know, sometimes I have a necklace that kind of, that breaks or my clasp breaks off. These are not silver, but it's okay. I can make it work. So you get the lobster, lobster claw clasp, it looks like. You get some chain and some just little round, yeah. So here's a clasp. This is chain and this is little beads. But let's open them up, shall we? Just so that you guys can get a feel for it, if I can find my scissors. I'm trying. Okay, here we go. Oh, watch me just spill these everywhere. Because <laughs> they're not in a little, um, they're not in a pocket. <laughs> Okay, I'll give it a couple more seconds, and then if it doesn't work, okay, here we go. I think I got it. Uh, yeah, let me see if I can open it. Yeah, I am going to break a nail here. I don't think it's going to work, but since I took the paper off, you can actually see better what's in there. And then I think this is chain, just pieces of chain. And these little, look at these little, um, what do you call those little spheres? Those are cute. Anyway, that's good to have. I'm always on the lookout. Sometimes I take an old necklace apart to fix the one that it broke. Um, I also found socks, more socks, y'all. I'm just a sucker for socks. <laughs> um, I got some, these are both pairs. Six pair, lightweight, no show. Oh, this, I didn't even notice this. This is queen shoe size, 8 to 12. It's okay because my size is 8. Um, you get six pairs. So they have so many different socks. I've seen them on other people's channels. All kinds of different socks from all different brands. Um, but I found the pads, and I also found the pads trouser socks. But these are colors that I don't have. Non-binding, binding, all day cozy, straight up fit. Three pair, tactile, made to fit comfort, fit you, comfort trousers. So size five to 10. See how these are brown and like a, a tan beige color? And I think this, I don't know what this color is. Might be black or navy, I'm not sure. But yeah. So now I have tons of trouser socks and tons of trousers too. <laughs> uh, what else did I get? Oh. So I got this little dispenser pump for my nail polish remover. I had one that already came with nail polish from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what's going on with this lighting. 
Just one second. Sorry about that. I have no idea what happened there. Um, so I'm going to show you this. Yeah, this dispenser pump for my nail polish remover. And they had, you see them in the walkthrough, they had purple ones and blue ones and whatnot. I like it because you just, it's easy. You just do that. You put alcohol in there, whatever you, you know. And then they also had new prayer cards. I only got one box because um, I like these better. I'm just trying to control myself. 20 prayer cards, inspirational prayer and scripture cards for yourself and others. Crown Jewels, a woman-owned company. They had one that had different, other different colors on it. This pink one appealed to me. So today's prayer, and then it has per, um, scripture on the back. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Proverbs 11:25. And so um, I think they're all the same. Oh, some of them have pink lettering, green or pink. And. Uh, I'll read one more. In peace I will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 4 8. So yeah, I thought these are so, so pretty. I have them all over my house in boxes, um, decorative boxes, and then I put the prayer cards inside. And as I go by, I pick one when I need some inspiration. I'm sorry about this lighting. It's awful. Awful, awful. <laughs> um, I got this puffy, puffy gel pen. I just happened upon it. It says raised ink that makes fun projects. Re retractable gel pen. Um, they had it in this color, like green and blue, I believe. You'll see it in the walkthrough as well. So I am going to show it to you first. It's by Ink Puffy Gel Pen. So I'm not sure. I don't have anything to write on. I'm actually going to write on the back of this. I apologize for the lighting. I can't get over that. Okay. So the um the tip feels like spongy, but it's not doing anything. Did I get a dud? Maybe I should be writing on something that's not Huh. Works on most smooth surfaces. Slightly press down, oh, all the other directions and you'll get it right. Slightly press down on the tip to dispense ink. Allow a few minutes for ink to dry. Okay. I'm not finding any ink there. I pressed down on the tip. Ow, it went right through my finger and made a hole. Okay, I'll have to play with this later. It's not worth my time right now. Um, I did, I was thinking, I don't know, I've been so discombobulated lately. I showed you guys this, this twice on two different hauls, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's it's not much in there, and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I could have just opened it up to see. I was thinking this is like Reynolds Wrap, sheets of, of but it's not. I'm going to open it and show you. It's one piece, and uh, if you haven't, if you didn't see it before, it's just an oven liner. It withstands up to 500 um, degrees, 13 by 15.7 inches. Okay, and then you can line your cookie sheets. It shows cookie sheets, um, any kind of pans. And I'm going to take it out to show you because I'm like, why don't I? I mean, I pride myself on opening things up and showing. So this is what it is. And it feels like some material, like, and I'm assuming you just put it on your whatever pan you have, and it's just, um, it keeps the bottom, well, heat resistant, non-stick surface, can be used as a cooking sheet, so easy to wipe clean, dishwasher safe, durable, and reusable. And this comes in it, so it shows you um, care and use instructions. I just wanted to throw that out there because sometimes I watch my videos back and I'm thinking, what was, what was I thinking? I mean, if it was me that was watching, I want you know open up and show me what's in there. Like twice I did that. I apologize. Um, and then the last thing I got was they have two different ones of these: the dot projector light by Driver's Choice. It's one piece, 
and it's just you put it in your car and it it's like light lights up on the ceiling they have different ones they have this one and they have one that had colors and I could have swore that I bought it and I'm looking everywhere and I didn't get it so I don't know what's wrong with me but I it says ambient LED light projector projector adjustable pattern this product is for decoration only not for lighting so um auto and home I would use this in my house it's kind of reminds me of that Halloween thing on a different level so I'm gonna open it up and you need a USB but I want to show you and I want to see myself what it's like we're running oh I don't know what we're running because I paused the video and it didn't pause it started all over oh my goodness okay it is what it is I'm just trying to get this open y'all bear with me please Okay, so this is the light and this is the USB thing. I have a USB here that I have my stuff plugged into, so I'm going to put it in there. Hopefully I'll put it in right. There we go. So I got it in the USB. Oh, there's, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I don't, oh, okay, there's, can you, I don't know if you can see that. So if you push it far away, then you're going to see like different patterns. Let me just adjust it, see if there's another. I don't know. Oh, okay. The more you turn it, the closer the patterns become. Looks like it's only dots. I don't know if you can see that. I'm thinking it's like on a ceiling or something. It's it, it needs to be dark. But anyway. Whatever. <laughs> I probably should have read the directions. It doesn't really say. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. So I know the other one has different colors, which um I thought I bought and I didn't. I apologize for that. I think it had like red and green and whatnot. So I'm going to play with this a little more and I'll probably video it and show you guys. Sorry about the lighting. I do not know what happened here. Um, I turned it off is what I did. No, I didn't. It just didn't come up. Okay. I apologize. Thank you for sticking with me through my discombobulatedness, if that's a word. All right, that's the end of my haul. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe if you haven't, and uh, a thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow, if you would, please. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget, I will have a walkthrough, and I'll probably put some shorts up too, we'll see. But anyway, uh, till next time, be well and be blessed.